Hey there, ladies. Hi, my name is Amy, and I'll be your waitress today. Is there anything I can get you to drink while you're looking at the menus? This is an animation test from the Blender animation team rendered in 4K. But the thing is, this was originally rendered at 720p. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at using AI software and how it fares against a render farm. To start with, here are my system specs. I'll be using an RTX 2060, and these are going to be the settings I'll use in Blender. For this test, I'll be rendering this scene in 4K at 24fps on my system as the control. Then I'll be rendering it in 720p at 12fps to see how far I can push it. And finally, I'll be rendering it on a render farm. For the local renders, it's just rendering an animation as you usually do in Blender. Starting with AI, first we render it in 720p at 12fps because we'll be using flow frames to interpolate the frames and Topaz Video Enhance AI to upscale it to 4K. In Flow Frames, just import the video, choose an output folder, and here we can already see that the FPS is gonna be set to 24. Click on Interpolate, and that's done. Then in Topaz Video Enhance AI, we import the new interpolated render, preserve details, set it to Gaia Computer Graphics, and then start processing. It'll bring up this window where we can compare, and yeah, looking good so far. That's pretty much it for the AI segment of this video. For rendering on our farm, it's as simple as beaming it up using Render Beamer, uploading the scene to the farm, rendering the frames, and then downloading them onto our machine. And as with all of our frames, we'll be compiling them in Blender into an MP4, and here are the results for how long it took to do each workflow from start to finish. Starting with our fastest render time, it's a 12fps 720p render clocking in at around 14 minutes and 20 seconds. Then after applying AI software, it becomes a total time of 31 minutes and 51 seconds. Next up is rendering on our farm, where it took a total of 21 minutes including uploading and downloading on my 100 Mbps internet connection. All of the results so far are really fast when compared to our 4K render on my machine, which came in at a whopping 3 hours, 39 minutes, and 29 seconds. Now that we have our results, the question here is, which one is the best option for you? The answer, as always, is, it depends. Going with the AI route is promising, but then you have to consider that while Flow Frames is free, Topaz Video Enhanced AI costs 199.99 US dollars which is a lot of money that you would probably be better off spending on a better graphics card instead. When it comes to rendering it natively, I'm running what's considered a mid-range computer. So using it to render a 4K scene is probably not the best idea, considering that I won't be able to do anything else while my machine is rendering. The fastest one by far would be using a render farm, but depending on your internet connection at home and how complex your render is, it would have to depend on what you need. So in summary, if you have a powerful machine already and you don't mind having your machine locked up while rendering, then you probably don't need AI or a render farm. If you have a weaker machine and you have around $200 to spare that you can't put into an upgrade, then perhaps going the AI route is something you can do. But if you want to render your scenes fast without locking up your machine and while paying a comparatively small amount, then a render farm has and still is the way to go. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and as always, happy rendering with garagefarm.net.